E.L. Kandaki. Pali versions. Pali English version and Pali Devanagari version. Having given, one despises. Vikas, there are these five kinds of persons found in the world. What five? The one who gives and then despises. The one who despises as a result of living together. The one gullible for gossip. The capricious one. And the one who is dull and stupid. And how is a person one who gives and then despises? Here, one person gives another a robe, arms food, lodging, and medicines and provisions for the sick. It occurs to him, I give. He receives. Having given to him, he despises him. It is in this way that a person is one who gives and then despises. And how does a person despise as a result of living together? Here, one person lives together with another for two or three years. He then despises the other because they have lived together. It is in this way that a person despises as a result of living together. And how is a person gullible for gossip? Here, when praise or dispraise is being spoken about another person, he readily believes it. It is in this way that a person is gullible for gossip. And how is a person capricious? Here, a person's faith, devotion, affection, and confidence are fickle. It is in this way that a person is capricious. And how is a person dull and stupid? Here, a person does not know which qualities are beneficial and which harmful, which qualities are blameworthy and which blameless, which qualities are inferior and which superior. He does not know dark and bright qualities along with their counterparts. It is in this way that a person is dull and stupid. These, bikkhis, are the five kinds of persons found in the world. One violates. Bikkhis, there are these five kinds of persons found in the world. What five? Dot. Here, one person violates and then becomes remorseful, and does not understand as it really is the liberation of mind, liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder. Here, one person violates and does not become remorseful, and does not understand as it really is the liberation of mind, liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder. Here, one person does not violate and yet becomes remorseful, and does not understand as it really is the liberation of mind, liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder. Here, one person does not violate and does not become remorseful, and does not understand as it really is the liberation of mind, liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder. Here, one person does not violate and does not become remorseful, and understands as it really is the liberation of mind, liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder. Bikkhis. The person among these who violates and then becomes remorseful, and does not understand as it really is the liberation of mind, liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder, should be told. Taint spawn of violation are found in you, and taint spawn of remorse increase. Please abandon the taint spawn of violation and dispel the taint spawn of remorse. Then develop your mind and panna, in this way you will be exactly the same as the fifth type of person. The person among these who violates and does not become remorseful, and does not understand as it really is the liberation of mind. Liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder, should be told. Taint spawn of violation are found in you, but taint spawn of remorse do not increase. Please abandon the taint spawn of violation, and then develop your mind and panna. In this way you will be exactly the same as the fifth type of person. Single quote dot. The person among these who does not violate and yet becomes remorseful, and does not understand as it really is the liberation of mind, liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder, should be told.
Taint spawn of violation are not found in you, yet taint spawn of remorse increase. Please dispel the taint spawn of remorse, and then develop your mind and panna. In this way you will be exactly the same as the fifth type of person. Single quote dot. The person among these who does not violate and does not become remorseful and does not understand as it really is the liberation of mind, liberation by panna, where these arisen bad harmful states of his cease without remainder, should be told. Taint spawn of violation are not found in you, and taint spawn of remorse do not increase. Please develop your mind and panna. In this way you will be exactly the same as the fifth type of person. Single quote dot. Thus, Bicus, when persons of these four types are exhorted and instructed by the example of the fifth type of person, they gradually attain the destruction of the taints. Sarandada. On one occasion the Lord was dwelling at Vesali in the hall with the peaked roof in the great wood. Then, in the morning, the Lord dressed, took his bowl and robe, and entered Vesali for arms. Now on that occasion five hundred Lichavis had assembled at the Sarandada shrine and were sitting together when this conversation arose. The manifestation of five gems is rare in the world. What five? The elephant gem, the horse gem, the jewel gem, the woman gem, and the steward gem. The manifestation of these five gems is rare in the world. Colon. Dot. Then the Lichavis stationed a man on the road and told him. Good man, when you see the Lord coming, you should inform us. The man saw the Lord coming in the distance, went to the Lichavis, and told them. Sirs, this Lord, the Arahat, the perfectly enlightened one is coming. You may go at your own convenience. Then the Lichavis approached the Lord, paid homage to him, and stood to one side. Standing there, they said to him, Please, Bhante, let the Lord go to the Sarandada shrine out of compassion. The Lord silently consented. He went to the Sarandada shrine, sat down on a seat that was prepared, and said to the Lichavis, Dot, what discussion were you engaged in just now as you were sitting together here? What was the conversation that was underway? Dot, here, Bhante, when we had assembled and were sitting together, this conversation arose. He here repeats the entire conversation above. The manifestation of these five gems is rare in the world. Intent on sensual pleasures, the Lichavis were engaged in a conversation about sensual pleasures. Lichavis, the manifestation of five gems is rare in the world. What five? The manifestation of a Tathagata, an Arahant, a perfectly enlightened one is rare in the world. A person who teaches the Dharma and discipline proclaimed by a Tathagata is rare in the world. When the Dharma and discipline proclaimed by a Tathagata has been taught, a person who understands it is rare in the world. When the Dharma and discipline proclaimed by a Tathagata has been taught and understood, a person who practices in accordance with the Dharma is rare in the world. A grateful and thankful person is rare in the world. Lichavis, the manifestation of these five gems is rare in the world. Tikandaki. On one occasion the Lord was dwelling at Siketa in the Tikandaki grove. There the Lord addressed the Bikus. Bikus. Dot. Venerable Sir. Those Bikus replied. The Lord said this. Dot. Bikus. It is good for a bhikkhu from time to time to dwell perceiving the repulsive in the unrepulsive. It is good for a bhikkhu from time to time to dwell perceiving the unrepulsive in the repulsive. It is good for a bhikkhu from time to time to dwell perceiving the repulsive in both the unrepulsive and the repulsive. It is good for a bhikkhu from time to time to dwell perceiving the unrepulsive in both the repulsive and the unrepulsive. It is good for a bhikkhu from time to time to dwell equanimous, mindful and completely comprehending, having turned away from both the repulsive and the unrepulsive. And for the sake of what benefit should a bhikkhu dwell perceiving the repulsive in the unrepulsive? 
Let no lust arise in me toward things provocative of lust. Single quote colon. For the sake of this benefit a bhikkhu should dwell perceiving the repulsive in the unrepulsive. And for the sake of what benefit should a bhikkhu dwell perceiving the unrepulsive in the repulsive. Let no hatred arise in me toward things provocative of hatred. Single quote colon. For the sake of this benefit a bhikkhu should dwell perceiving the unrepulsive in the repulsive. And for the sake of what benefit should a bhikkhu dwell perceiving the repulsive in both the unrepulsive and the repulsive. Let no lust arise in me toward things provocative of lust, and no hatred toward things provocative of hatred. Single quote colon. For the sake of this benefit a bhikkhu should dwell perceiving the repulsive in both the unrepulsive and the repulsive. And for the sake of what benefit should a bhikkhu dwell perceiving the unrepulsive in both the repulsive and the unrepulsive. Let no hatred arise in me toward things provocative of hatred, and no lust toward things provocative of lust. Single quote colon. For the sake of this benefit a bhikkhu should dwell perceiving the unrepulsive in both the repulsive and the unrepulsive. And for the sake of what benefit should a bhikkhu dwell equanimous, mindful and completely comprehending, having turned away from both the repulsive and the unrepulsive. Let no lust at all arise in me anywhere in any way regarding things provocative of lust. Let no hatred at all arise in me anywhere in any way regarding things provocative of hatred. May no delusion at all arise in me anywhere in any way regarding things that breed delusion. Single quote colon. For the sake of this benefit a bhikkhu should dwell equanimous, mindful and completely comprehending, having turned away from both the repulsive and the unrepulsive. Hell. Bhikkhus. One possessing five qualities is deposited in hell as if brought there. What five? One destroys life, takes what is not given, engages in sexual misconduct, speaks falsely, and indulges in liquor, wine, and intoxicants, the basis for slothfulness. One possessing these five qualities is deposited in hell as if brought there. Bicus. One possessing five other qualities is deposited in heaven as if brought there. What five? One abstains from the destruction of life. Abstains from taking what is not given. Abstains from sexual misconduct. Abstains from false speech. Abstains from liquor, wine, and intoxicants, the basis for slothfulness. One possessing these five qualities is deposited in heaven as if brought there. Friend. Bhikkhus, one should not take as a friend a bhikkhu who possesses five qualities. What five? He instigates work projects. He takes up disciplinary issues. He is hostile toward eminent bhikkhus. He is intent on lengthy and unsettled wandering. He is unable to instruct, encourage, inspire, and gladden one from time to time with a dharma talk. One should not take as a friend a bhikkhu who possesses these five qualities. Bhikkhus, one should take as a friend a bhikkhu who possesses five other qualities. What five? He does not instigate work projects. He does not take up disciplinary issues. He is not hostile toward eminent bhikkhus. He is not intent on lengthy and unsettled wandering. He is able to instruct, encourage, inspire, and gladden one from time to time with a Dharma talk. One should take as a friend a bhikkhu who possesses these five qualities. Donation of bad person. Bhikkhus, there are these five gifts of a bad person. What five? He gives casually. He gives without reverence. He does not give with his own hand. He gives what would be discarded. He gives without a view about the returns of giving. These are the five gifts of a bad person. Bhikkhus, there are these five gifts of a good person. What five? He gives respectfully. He gives with reverence. He gives with his own hand. He gives what would not be discarded. He gives with a view about the returns of giving. These are the five gifts of a good person.